Okay, this is a beginning tutorial on VexCode VR. We'll be working on this for the rest of the fourth quarter here. So if you click on the link, it'll take you to this page right here, which if you're interested, you can scroll down and you can read about it a little bit. This is the actual theoretical robot that you're going to be writing the code for. And it looks like this on your screen. You'll see all this. But just so that you kind of understand what it is you have, it has a lot of different sensors. We're going to try to use some of these things as we go along. It's got an electromagnet to pick stuff up. Got an eye to look down to follow a line follower, basically. Um, it has some bumpers, so if it hits a wall, it can see it. It has a distance sensor so that it can, uh, like a sonar, so it can tell how far away it is from things. And there's a variety of different playgrounds mazes and grids and things like that. So uh, we're going to start out pretty pretty straightforward, pretty simple thing right now. I think if you read it, you saw you're going to build a house. So if I click here, it'll take me to this page. Okay. So you'll notice this is, this is uh, called block code. And this is the way it's set up. Block code is a little more basic um, than having text code. Eventually, they'll have it so you can switch back and forth, but right now it's just this. So uh, first, let's see what we've got here. You've got, uh, this is file here to file to save your stuff. Right up here, this is really important. This is the playground. And if I click this, then this is my grid that I'm looking at. I can make it a little bigger. I may have to shrink it back down, When I but when you're doing it, now it's like the uh, Robot C virtual world, you can see here, I click that one, I can rotate it around, I can zoom in and out, or I can just look down at it. Let me make it uh, smaller again so that I can write my code. We'll make it bigger when we want to see something. Okay, so these are all our different ones. This is your driving. You've got, there's a special control just for magnet. You've got uh, from printing things, you have, these will look familiar. You've got ifs and if else. Forever is like a continuous while loop. It just goes forever. You've got uh, these different kinds of sensing, uh, different kinds of operators. This is like, you know, if sensor value less than, like we did with Robot C. Uh, you have variables. You can create your own variables like we did and your own blocks. Um, I, I'm still learning a lot of this because it's it's new. It only came out a couple of weeks ago. They really worked really hard to get it to get come out uh, because of everybody being at home. So what your, your first assignment is you're going to draw a house. I'm going to go through the basics here uh, to kind of show you what's going on. And for this one, just straightforward commands. It's kind of like when you just had turned on the wheel and run for a certain amount of time and so on. So I'm just going to drag. You click and drag blocks over. You can hear a little snap there. So uh, I drive forward for 200. Each of these squares is, two, is uh, 20, I think. So I'm going to make this about, I think I made it about 800 when I went through this a little while ago. I drive forward for, one, for 800 millimeters. And then I'm going to, not that right, I'm going to turn right for 90 degrees so I can tell how far I want it to go. And then drive forward for, say, 400 just so that you can see this thing go here, okay? So we'll go at an angle, zoom out a little, angle a little, and then up here is my play button. Yeah, my sound effect. Turn right. Pop. Okay, that gives you an idea. 400 took me, you know, two and a half squares, and if I go back to the above, that was my 800, and it didn't even take me halfway. So. You could start right here. So, so far, I've just moved it out into the screen. But, uh, and you'll also notice these are kind of cool because it shows you what's going on, how far away you are, whether you've hit something, um, if it can see anything, if the bumpers have fit anything, if there's anything on the ground. We'll be using some of those as we uh, move along. Um, what's that button do? Oh, it gets rid of it gets rid of those things. We don't really need it for this one, so I'm gonna get rid of it to give me a little bigger playing field. Okay, so next, uh, what I want to do next is to I want to move my pen down because now I want to start drawing. So 
let's see I'm gonna move it down and I can set my pen color to whatever color I want we'll use green greens mr. Humphrey's favorite color and so then I'm going to you can see this is pretty straightforward here I'm going to drive forward for that was 400 let's go 600 millimeters and let's just we'll do in fact what we'll do is we'll just kind of go through here so I go there then I'm going to turn left for 90 degrees go forward for 600 um, and you can in fact you can do here let me try this I can click on this I can right click in this line here duplicate it and I duplicate just that and I think this is going to work for me let's see forward turn left forward whoops I got two forwards in there um, how that happened and two lefts okay that was the way I dragged it in there so I can put that up there there we go and so I'm going forward then left then left I think I gotta do one more so let's do this right click duplicate and I just got to put it at the bottom there like that let's see what that does and I'll put it in an angle make it a little pretty this is your reset it's just like the virtual world and driving forward here I'm gonna put my pen down boom you saw by, hit, by hitting that right click and duplicate I didn't have to keep dragging I was gonna do the same thing and look at me I made a box aren't I awesome now um, so what I can do is then dur, 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 let's see I want to go back to my pen was purple these colors the more you do it you kind of get used to doing it so now I can move my pen up so I'm not drawing and then I can drive forward Come here daddy drive forward for 600 that'll take me up to the top of it then look at me look at me then I can go back to my pen and move my pen down and I can set my color to a different color I want to have a uh, it's the red roof in and so now um, so that'll get so now uh, you can if you go back up here I can turn and this will turn it uh, distance like if I put this here and turn it like 30 degrees and drive forward some distance then I don't know how far I'm just gonna do this so you can kind of see what's going on here I think I got to go farther than that let's go like 400 and let's see problem is I can't I can't pick it up where I left off I have to start all over again it's like the robot C1 so in fact let's try this I don't think this is gonna work right but let's turn Oh, I turned to rotation what does that do get off of there if I pull it far enough I can pull this out and get rid of it I'm going to try because I want to do is I want to turn left for oh, how'd that get there turn to rotation turn left for 30 degrees and then I'm gonna turn left again I have no I'm not sure how far to go this but we're just gonna do this and we'll just see what it looks like and make that 400 you can play around with this the heading is this right here so actually if I'm at 90 I can turn it let's let's follow this as we go as we go through here so now I'm at so this is zero okay so let's see what we got here let's follow this heading so now I got zero I did a rotation of 90 to a heading of 90 drawing my house my box heading of zero there I go now I'm going 270 degrees I did a negative 90 okay 
So, and you can see, if you'll notice up here, things are highlighting. As I get to my lines of code, I did this. Oh, let's see. Nope, not going to work right. All right. But you can kind of see, you get the idea. And so you can play around with this. I did a, a rotation of negative 390. I did a heading of 330. So that's kind of interesting. So when you get this all done, and again, like I said, you can pick up the pen, draw a window. I would make a bigger house probably than this. Add a garage, add a chimney. I don't, you know, do something. Basically, I'm asking you to make a house like this and then add at least one feature, a window, a door, a garage, or something. Okay? And, um, the, oh, and so now... What you would do is, boom, boom, boom. first, uh, this right here is your file. It automatically saves as you go, but I would save that. Click this and save it so that you have the code. Um, we may at some point, I may have you send it. Like if you have a problem with it, you could actually send me that file. I can open it in VexBR, watch it run, and see what the problems are. That's cool. So I can actually help you troubleshoot if you send me your file. Okay. But what you're going to do is basically shrink it. Shrink it. This one gets long. Oh, this one gets real long. You may have to do this because I'm asking you to do a screenshot. You're going to have to probably do multiple screenshots because it's just not all going to, I don't think, it's not all going to go. And then for this one, when you get all done, screenshot this, put it into one slide, screenshot this, and you can do it in sections because this one, because it isn't, there are no if else's, there are no, uh, we're not looping, you know, so it's just a continuous thing here. So it's really long. So you'll have to do that. But that would be your first assignment. That will be due this week. I'm also going to do a tutorial for the second one, which is kind of creating a Roomba to make it randomly go around uh, the grid here, because at least that gets us some if else statements in there. And so if you get this done, you can move into that one. And we're gonna try to do one or two a week. And over the course of the next four weeks is to kind of try to go through the things that uh, we would have you know, had more time to do, because this is this is good. This is really good programming. It and uh, and uh, so I'll stop there.